When a big disappointment happens, it's essential to leave room for the unknown. We don't know if it's the end of the story, it could be the beginning of a new adventure. Life is full of uncertainties, and we can't label things as bad or good because we simply don't know. Taking care of your salvation is crucial, and it's important not to depend on others. A clear mind, free from desires, has no fear. Learning to let go should come before learning to acquire, and life should be experienced, not strangled. Sometimes, you need to relax and let things happen, while other times, you need to move forward with determination. Living in the present moment doesn't mean you should forget about the past or disregard the future. It's about not losing yourself in regret or anxiety. If you're firmly rooted in the present, the past can be a subject of reflection and mindful attention, and you can gain insights that anchor you in the now. Things falling apart are a kind of test and a form of healing. We often believe that the goal is to pass the test or overcome the problem, but things are never truly resolved. They come together and fall apart, only to come together again. Healing comes by allowing space for all of this to happen, space for grief, relief, sadness, and joy. The best way to take care of the future is to take care of the present moment. No matter how many sacred words you read or speak, they're useless if you don't act in line with them. If we learn to open our hearts, anyone, even those who drive us crazy, can be our teacher. Letting go is freedom, and freedom is the key to happiness. If you still cling to anger, anxiety, or possessions in your heart, you can't be free. Compassion is not a religious matter, it's a human matter. It's not a luxury, it's essential for our own peace and mental stability. It's crucial for human survival. Many people mistake excitement for happiness, but when you're excited, you're not at peace. True happiness is based on inner peace. Don't believe something just because you've heard it, it's widely spread, written in religious books, or taught by authorities and elders. Only accept it after observation and analysis, when you find that it aligns with reason and is for the greater good. When we come across something new, we tend to compare it with what we already know. If it aligns, we consider it correct, otherwise, we label it as wrong. Unfortunately, in both cases, we don't learn anything new. When we face a challenge, it's unproductive to shout at the person who caused it. Instead, it's better to focus on the problem at hand and find a solution that works. A word that brings peace is more valuable than a thousand empty words. Often, we get lost in the cycle of sin and guilt, convinced that any misfortune we encounter is the result of our wrongdoings. However, that's not what karma represents. It's about continuously learning and growing, opening our hearts more with each lesson. To receive these teachings, we must stop guarding our vulnerable spots and allow ourselves to be vulnerable. Life presents us with opportunities to learn and grow, even when things don't go as we planned. We must not give up or get discouraged, but keep moving forward. Those who persevere will ultimately succeed. Just like a torch, we can share our inner light with others. As we use it to dispel darkness and cook food, our flame remains the same. Similarly, our path to bliss is one that we can share with others. We often seek resolution, but we deserve something more significant, our birthright, the middle way. It's a state of mind that allows us to embrace paradoxes and ambiguities. A true leader is someone who offers hope to others, even in the most challenging situations. Ultimately, we must remember that peace is not a destination, but the path itself. We often believe that if we have the perfect food, or if we play enough, everything will be perfect. But, from an awakened perspective, this way of thinking is death. Seeking security or perfection, holding on to things, and clinging to old ideas prevents us from experiencing something new. We are killing the moment by trying to control our experience. 
life can be painful with challenges that we face. However, culture and art are like roses that bloom despite the thorns. We are the flower, and art is the liberation of our humanity. In meditation, we may experience restlessness, causing our minds to wander. However, we must learn to be present and embrace the discomfort. Practicing kindness and humor can help us stay calm and centered, even during difficult times. Whenever we feel like giving up, we must remember to stay focused and not let go. We must stay present and experience everything that life has to offer. Whether it's anger, pain, or discomfort, we must face it with courage and a sense of humor. Remember to never give up, always stay focused, and keep moving forward. If you enjoyed reading this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.